Aloha YouTube, this is Aqua Ninja, and obviously this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. One of the most aesthetic looking phones of this year. With the curves and the edge to edge display, I mean who can argue and say that there's a better display out there? Probably not. Um, one of the key rudimentary uh, features of this phone that makes it kind of uh, iconic other than the edge is the fact that its processor is of the toppiest of the tier. I mean, let's exclude phones that came out later than it. At the pinnacle of the time when it came out, it was at the, the peak of processing prowess. And going through Samsung's website, you know, you can obviously see that the IP67 certification really, really is uh, one of the, 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 the divine features of a phone like this, of this caliber. Because you're paying a lot of money, you want a phone that is gonna be water resistant that you don't drop into a puddle and it breaks. Extend, extendable storage via micro SD. That's a key feature for nerds because nobody else really knows or cares about photos and saving pictures and things like that. But for nerds, they love that. Now me, I opted a long time ago to go to virtual storage. So, I mean, me and Google, we're, we're like this and you know, I have unlimited cloud storage space, but even if you didn't have unlimited cloud storage space, I think that virtual storage is always the way to go because you may lose your phone, you may drop your phone, any number of things could happen and you won't be able to access your data. Having this or virtual storage, more importantly, will allow you to keep those memories safe and protected at all times. Obviously, both variants are amazing. Night photos, I would say there's so many more practical phones for night, 6P, Pixel, iPhone 7 Plus. I mean, you know, it's 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 decent. Wireless charging, this is where it really ties home. Um, wow, like there's not too many phones that can wirelessly charge these days. So that's a really, really key feature right there. Samsung Pay, which is way better than, let's say, Android Pay or Apple Pay because it uses MST, which is a technology that essentially allows it to work with any credit card reader. If it has a credit card swipe part, this thing will work with it. Uh, it uses this really advanced technology to actually be able to do that, which is why Samsung Pay will endorse themselves like there's no tomorrow because they need to let people know how amazing the, the, the system is. And it really is. It's, it's really not uh, anything to sleep on, really. So, yeah, that's kind of the logistics. Obviously, the camera is freaking amazing. 12 megapixels, kind of like the iPhone. Um, 4K resolution, which is amazing. Uh, battery life is really, really good. 3,000 milliamps, 3,600 for the edge variant like my mine. Um, you obviously got the USB 2.0, Bluetooth 4.2, and the obvious, you know, high-spec, high-performance things that you would expect from a Samsung phone. Now, let me get in my, to my predictions of what the Samsung S8 is going to be. Okay, let's get right to it. Based on Evleaks and Vulture B, we actually have the official Samsung S8 already revealed right here, um, where you can see the front of the S8 and is on the left side, and is completely glass. So this is kind of going to set precedent for this year. Um, where essentially all phones are going to have seamlessly bezel-less displays. Like as you can see from this phone, it's got a nice bezel right here and then a nice bezel on the bottom part. But this year, we're pretty much going to have it like up to here. And since it's going to be black as well, it's going to look a lot better. On this end, it's going to do the same thing where it's basically going to be all this and the home button is going to be integrated into the uh, thing. As you can see right there, it's no home button there. So it's all going to be kind of a forced touch like Apple. Um, so both phones are going to be sharing things off each other. Apple is going to have a display like Samsung. Samsung is going to have the forced touch like Apple. And LG and other companies are also going to have full bezel-less like displays. As you can see from the back, the uh, black is kind of like a metallic type of material, kind of like the uh, S7 of this generation. And they kind of look like they moved the home button to the back top so that's how they can keep this nice form factor right here i think it looks pretty sexy i mean i like the fact that it's like no nothing on the front it's just a big slab of glass um and since this whole thing is now a display 
it gives a nice screen real estate, um, nice aspect ratio. And like I said before, Samsung makes the best displays. So them having this technology will just kind of differentiate them from you know every other company that's now going to have bezel-less displays. Because I'm happy that 2017 is going to be a year of bezel-less displays because it's just... We needed to get out of the mundane, you know, form factor of phones. They've been looking the same since like the last, you know, I'd say the last three, four years. So it's, I'm, I'm happy that we're seeing a nice transition into something new. And as you can notice, we got the headphone jack as well. Headphone jack and a bottom firing speaker. So this seems like the phone to, to look forward to. I would say if you're saving up, wait. Uh, Ebleex predicts that it's coming out March 29th, so you can put that in your calendars. Um, save up for that day. If you had to return your Note 7 or you really don't like the offerings right now, you know, wait until this phone comes out. I predict that this is going to be the phone that kind of puts Samsung back into the power position. I mean, they lost an estimated $25 billion uh, this uh quarter based on this s7 the washing machines they just really didn't have a good year in terms of phones this year at all so hopefully this will revive them and then we have apple of course to you know kind of compete with them lg is kind of in the background you got sony in the background as well and we got a lot of the players in this one so let me know in the comments below which phone you're gonna get this uh in 2007 season um, and also remember to like the video, subscribe, and as always, have an aqua day.